Hi friends, it's Penny Wolf and I have a ship with me uh, video to share with you. Items that sold um, from a thrift outlet, um, what sold on eBay. I don't have any posh um, with this one. This is 13 sales for um, right around $207. That means the average uh, price if you were to take the total amount and divide it by how many sales would be around $15 each. I do charge shipping for all of the um listings and uh, we'll get right to it. I'll tell you what sold and um, the first one is a Chico's and uh, this was brand new with tags. I had two of them. This is a scoop neck and I had a um, also a v-neck uh, but it's a Chico's. Um, I think it's Chico's three. Anyhow um, the retail on this I think was looks like I think it says $28 and um, it sold for $19.30. Uh, they paid for shipping also though and uh, what I do with all of my items like that there um, I'll be putting it in a clear bag uh, most all of them and it already has the warning label for the plastic uh, printed on it you can get these on eBay probably on um, on uh, Amazon too and then uh, if you have an eBay store you can order the um, the poly mailers and I love this size this is my favorite size and if it's really great for a lot of the clothing this might be like maybe 10 by 14. And then this is a larger sized one. And um, I use this for some of the larger ones. And uh, they work out really great. And then anything that is over a pound, um, I like my favorite is the padded flat rates. And I order these on, um, you know, the um, UPS, um, United States Postal Service uh, site and they're free and they come in a box. And I like the padded ones. Anyhow, um, that's uh and then I usually I always include like a little thank you you know note on there with my store name and have a blessed day and then um I do have some stickers for the plastic warning labels I put on the outside of that this item here I already had it packaged up and it's a fray and this is a burgundy blazer and it should have been on one of my hauls I got this from the lady that I bought a lot of that stuff from that means I paid right around a dollar for it and it sold for twenty dollars and twelve cents I was very happy because blazers are not a fast move item and uh, I don't find blazers and skirts are probably the two hard, two of the hardest um, it seems like to move this I've had for a really long time and it was already in a bag too it's Zach Posen for Target it was a little tank top and it's animal print I think I've had it since probably last summer anyhow it finally sold for $14 I was really happy yay Thank you, God. Thank God that it finally sold. And I had all these other sales. This also is uh, from that lady and um, that I bought all that stuff from. And it's a, um, it's a dress. And this was a Banana Republic. I can't remember. It may be silk. I do not know for sure. But it's Banana Republic. And this sold for $19.95. I was very pleased with that. If you can do me a favor and uh, subscribe, I'd greatly appreciate it. I'm um, trying to... Uh, really grow this uh, YouTube and uh, the more um, subscribers you have and and you know likes and things like that I don't know if it's uh, which one it's based on but anyways it might be on the subscribers it moves the videos up for um, other people to get a chance to um, watch the video it moves it up for suggested videos and then that way too you get notifications every time I list up you know when I list new um, videos I've been trying to do at least two or three a week I do a lot of haul videos and then some ship with me videos and um, I have like one uh, other like reseller tip and I, I'll thinking about starting to do some more of those. This is part of the plus size that I sell. Um, I like to sell the plus size clothing. This sold for $12 and it's called Feathers. That's not like a, any particular name brand, but look how cute this is. When you get to the plus size clothing, it goes a lot on the style, not the brand. And there's a lot of brands that I would sell plus size, but not in regular size. This always seems to sell this brand and uh, this is a um, XL and um, the plus size is even more but it's called One World. Look how cute this is. It's got like the tassels and stuff on the end of it. I didn't list this that long ago. It might have been on one of my haul videos and it's called One World and for some reason this line does sell. It has another print that they're really noted for. Um, that has like the white between it and um and you would think maybe it might be a little outdated but I'll tell you what they always sell. This is super cute. And uh, this item here, um, I already had this bag up too. Um, I think I got this from the lady also. Um, and it means I paid a dollar. It's a rag and bone white denim skirt. Really cute. I thought this would go for more. I had it listed on eBay and Posh. Um, but it was um, it sold for $22 on eBay. I took it. 
For some reason, the denim skirts don't move super, super fast. And you think that they would. I have a Free People one up. It's brand new with tags. I had it up on both sides for quite a long time. I need to relist it. And uh, it still hasn't sold. But I have it priced a little bit up there. But I don't know, maybe 30 But I've offered, I, I don't know, maybe I've offered like 25 on it. And I run sales on um, eBay. Anyhow, um, this next one is called a Karen Horn. And I looked it up, I swore, when I was at the store. It's um, silk, and it, it's kind of retro, and it's got, like, gaming, like, um, cards and things that remind you of, like, you know, card playing and gambling and stuff like that. It's really cute. But this, um, I've had this for a while. It sold for $9.99. I took it to move it because it's, a, it's an older line. This I had gotten from that lady, too. And this is a really cute dress. It, show, it had a lot of attention on eBay and on Posh. And this is part of an anthropology line. It's all embroidery. And uh, this is that, um, this is the um, Akimi Kin. And uh, anyhow, it sold on eBay. And uh, it sold for $21. And like I said, they pay shipping on everything. And, um... This next one, I would not pick up this brand again. I thought it was really cool. I didn't take time to look in the store because I thought it might be something, you know, of a higher value. Because a lot of times when you um, are at the stores, if they only tack the sides, a lot of times that means it's more quality. However, I have noticed, too, some of the really inexpensive lines that the stuff come in from China and stuff like that, you know, selling really, really cheap. Sometimes they're only taking the sides. But anyhow, this one, I don't know about the brand. I don't remember because I've had it listed for a really long time. But I thought it was super cute. It's got the the little suede elbow patches. And usually that's something that does sell a little bit. If you find men's blazers with it on it, that's a, it used to be. I don't know if it still is, but that's a good thing to pick up. Anyhow, um, I would really research this brand if I sold it again or if I come across it. And it's called um, it's um, Harhe. <laughs> Anyhow, this sold and it sold for $8.73. I was glad just to sell it. Uh, this here was brand new with tags. And this is another one too. I thought maybe it might be something, but it might be just like a kind of like a no big name brand. But it was brand new with tags. It is cute. However, it was kind of risky because it's more of a peasant top. And I really don't know how popular they still are. They're cute and adorable. It has the tie on the rear. It's brand new with tags, but it's called... Uh, Peruna or something like that. Uh, for sure, resale, research that brand before you pick it up. But this sold for $11, and I was happy to ship it out. I'm going to really start. <laughs> I say that, but it's really hard to pass up stuff that's brand new with tags. You, do you do that, too, uh, when you're at the um, resale store? Uh, you know, because even, like, if they're not, like, like let's say, Crofton Barrow or something like that, you know, brand new with tags. Sometimes they still don't even sell or don't sell for much. It's it's wild, and uh, you got to really watch it, even on some of those. This is part of the plus size. Um, I think this might be, this is just a 3, it might be a 3X. Oh, it's a 2X. This is very pretty, actually. And it's um it's a button-down shirt and uh, blouse, and uh, it's floral. And this is part of the plus size, and this is called um, Tara and Sky. And um, you do come across that quite often with the plus sizes. Since it's not like it's a, you know, huge, you know, brand, but it probably depends on the style. I don't know. Maybe it is, but um, it sold for $19. I was very happy with that. This item I already had bagged up too. It's a Kenneth Cole, and this is part of the plus sizes too. I think this might be a 3X short sleeve, and it sold for, um, it sold for, I think $11.50, and I was happy to um, to sell that. And, uh, you know, because it's not all about, you know, like the big um, sales all the time where you're making like a ton of money on each sale. These bread and butter sales really add up. And some of these, you know, were, you know, they were more than $10. Some of them were 15 and 20 Like I said, the average, if you average it all out, it was around $15. If you only sell, um, if you sell some items and you sell, let's say you get um, a net profit of $10 and you sell 10 of those a day, that's 100 a day times that by seven, like I always say, or usually say, um, that's 700 a week, 2,800 for the month. 
or you can double that. Or if you sold so for twenty dollars a day, sold you know ten a day, that'd be two hundred. You know, be fourteen for the hundred for the week. You know, it's all about you know building up. It depends on what you want to do for your you know business model too. If you do me a favor and push a like button, I'd greatly appreciate it. Hopefully, you got some valuable content out of it. That completes the shipping. Gonna go ahead and get this stuff packaged up and mailed out. Anyhow, um, may you have a very prosperous day today in all areas. Have a blessed day. Thank you.